Mm, good morning. It's Saturday the 29th of March 2014. It's 06.50 Greenwich Mean Time. Tomorrow we'll be on British Summer Time. And it's supposed to be warmer today, but at the moment, rather grey. There's a bit of a breeze. There's a bit of damp in the air. Yeah, it's typical valleys weather. So, we are now in the PLL era post legend leaving if you look at my youtube channel you will see legendary videos not the quality of the video will be legendary but it's the legend so the other thing westmans beer festival started yesterday i'm a little bit behind on my schedule and i need a haircut can't go drinking beer festival beers with messy hair so i'm heading into Philly. Just men, haircut, coffee, all that sort of stuff. No coffee, just men actually. And then uh, take the train into the capital. Uh, listening to In the Balance with Manuela Zaragoza. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Today's petrol and diesel update. A smidgen cheaper. And the castle. There's a slight breeze. So the flags. So it's very bright. To Philly. And though it's difficult to see, the sun has just peeped through the clouds. Although it's still a bit misty down that way. Not only is there a beer festival, there are balloons. One eighty nine kind. Not a little bit eighty nine. And we're off. And we're off with a Spanish ale. For all those people who just thought that Spain either imported or homebrewed lagers, etc. This is Fermin Red Ale. Fermin as in iron by Matteo and Bernarda. Actually, it's brewed in the UK by Shepherd Neem. <laughs> uh, all the way down in Kent. 5.8% alcohol by volume. 189 a pint. Hats off. Carpet watching. Hmm. Sort of fruity, but not in a craft sort of sense. Quite strong. Well, 5.8% B plus plus. Number two, and there seems to be some confusion about the name. Is it just Meridian or well, Atlas Meridian? Anyway, it's from the Orkney Brewery. It's a bitter. It's 3.9% alcohol by volume. So, in strong terms, the lighter end of the market. It's supposed to be quite malty. I do like a nice malty ale. Carp color. I would say that is there's more bitterness to it than maltiness. I quite like that. That is, if you like classic English, and I mean Wales, bitters, and the finish is quite long lasting as well. I'm going to give it a B. I'm um, in a good mood because they're having a curry sale here as well. So there could be pictures of, oh, depends what they've sold, tikka masala, something, whatever. Might even go for something that I don't know. You know, comfort zone, out of, etc. Number three with a curry on the way, and a small bowl of chips. This is from Caledonian, which I think is owned by Heineken now. This is Port of Leaf, which is an IPA at 5%. I'll go by volume, that weight. Oh, I'm sure it will help with the weight on. I shouldn't allow kids into pubs. That's, that's pretty strong. This, uh, I don't know, I'm not really good at Scottish ales. I wouldn't call it an IPA. Although it probably is, actually. But, yeah, B+. There you go. 
in the top post. And the Tiny River Brothers do a cider, it's a collaboration. This is Rock Steady. It's a cloudy cider at 5.5, that's a bad sign. I think it's more of a scrumpy than anything else. It's rough. As you would expect with a name like Rock Steady. I'll give it a big plus. It'll burn up my stomach, no doubt. It took a while to chew this. And I got a congrats from the barman. Abby Ale, as in the term Trappist, 7%. Double, which translates as double. Uh, not the most accessible of beers. But when you get into it, it's easy. Strong. Nicely carbonated. Full body. And the look doesn't have a huge finish, it just goes on and on. Contradiction in terms, but A minus. Thank you, Belgium. Thank you, Monks.